of simple things. Where have you been? I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm so sweet, y'all. Damn. That was a deep inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, the smell of smoking hay all by myself. <laughs> Anyways, gonna see y'all reading. How y'all's doing today? How the retrograde treating y'all? Huh? How the retrograde treating y'all? How you feeling? How you doing? Y'all coming outside this birthday season? Happy birthday! Nice to meet you. All of that goody, good, good stuff, Miss Miss. If you ever love me, leave me. I got books. This must be the book by my sister. Yeah, I ain't read that one now. Oh, simple things. Hey, hey, I finally went and listened to that song, and I get it. I really do get what he's saying. Like, why, why we got Where's all the simple stuff? We used to go to the park and play and read a book. Okay. Let's see. Got in these streets for cancer, the old cuts. Pause. Somebody on pause. Something's on pause. What's going on with cancer, the old cuts? Very nice. Somebody's thinking. The fool. Hit with that leap of faith. Somebody about to take that leap of faith. Somebody, it seems like somebody about to uh, send you the money for something. You about to take a leap of faith to give some money to something or someone? Somebody about to trust you with it? Trust you going to do right by them with it? Or some of y'all are just taking a leap of faith towards your career? Tell me about this fool. What is this leap of faith? Aries energy for, uh, cancel that for. The seven of swords is in reverse. Wow. Um. <laughs> it's like giving some some money or something to I don't know why I keep thinking about money going towards something that has been exposed somebody's about to take a leap and express something expose something confess something hey y'all this little cat so look I put the boy out right I did I put him out this morning because Zena got in trouble by my daughter and I never seen her uh, do that to Zena. That's why I was like, what happened? I'm up here trying to plead her case as a lawyer. And then she said Zena went and pissed in her shoe. So I was just like, damn, Zena, I can't. I can't. But Zena has been a different kind of be here lately. Now she's pregnant, y'all know that. And this, the level of evilness that they came with her, she beats up everybody. Something, something weird is going on. I got a, a weird feeling about something because something isn't as quite as it seems. It's like somebody's holding something back. Who put this in? See, this is that light-skinned girl of mine in here messing with my stuff. 
something. Somebody, it's like, I feel like somebody is giving you enough, but your suspicions is about to go off. It's something, I don't know. It, I am stuck in a hangman because it's some type of resentment and resistance here. It's a warning around something and it's, it's, you're ignoring it or someone's ignoring it. Something's really being hidden. What's, what's, what's being hidden here, Spirit and Ancestors? Why is it Seven of Swords in reverse? The Four of Cups is in reverse. What? And then you got the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Wands. But who's doing this? Who's this? What is this new type of energy about? That? Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What's the energy of this King of Pentacles? Real Masters for Cancer. Real Cups. Magical moments. Bro, look, what's going on, y'all? I'm a. I feel this two different ways. I think this is you holding how you getting your bag, how you move into yourself. Okay, you going after opportunities by any means necessary. This is like what I, I have posted this too. Like I'm done with being a law abiding citizen. You know, fuck that shit. People go, oh, you don't want the karma? What karma? Okay, we getting karma being law abiding. The fuck? The fuck? the shit but it also seemed like somebody is resisting how they feel about you they they're not confessing it it's like something is brewing in your life something is starting something is unfolding but it's that one little bitty tiny secret but i don't think they're holding this secret in it seemed like they're starting to confess it like i feel like you're gonna feel what is it this is Black Ed that has been walking around my house since I moved here. This is this aunt was here since the winter. I have never even looked uh I never even looked up a uh black ant and what it means. Because I don't see no more. The cats play with it, they never ate them. They just smack him around and he'll go run and hide for a little while. He never leave this area. Every now and then he'll make it to the kitchen, but he stays in this area. And then there he go. Oh, simple things. Where have you been? I was about to say something. Damn, I was about to say something. Because it's just something I keep feeling away. I feel like it's something you want to ask somebody or you might ask somebody something. Something being, something seems a little deceptive. But... Like somebody want to take a leap of faith with you and they want to trust that you're going to be genuine about the situation or they want to like is you being flown the fuck out or something like that somebody wants to give you some money to come towards them and they, they're scared but they want to do it they want you to come towards them because they see you as some type of not just some type of money but some type of stability like something longevity can occur with y'all yeah, like a win. Six of Wands here. A win at their betrayal. Yeah, a win at their betrayal. Six of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. They feel like this is happening. But you... And the secret shit here, I think they're getting hit with a lot of indiscretion. I mean, people from their past. Just like you could be getting hit from a lot of people from your past. You could be hiding the fact that you're dating someone else. I don't know. Like, you know what?
Yeah, I think somebody is finally about to choose their happiness. And it seems like the happiness could be with you. They want It's something about you or you're choosing to be more happy. Go towards stuff that makes you happy. You're, dis, you're thinking about all of the magical moments you can have in your doggone life with just something new. Just giving to yourself. I feel like it's a lot of magical stuff happening into your life. A lot of y'all are pursuing careers you never thought you would pursue. Doing things you never thought you would do. Some of y'all are just moving in a different direction than what you ever... You're taking leap of faith with this fool. You are taking the big ones. The ones people thought you could never do. Ones you never thought you could do. Enjoying a single life. Traveling. celebrate Celebrations. Events. Dating and or enjoying one's own company. And that's what's happening here. You're, you're meeting. I said you could be dating more than one person. But you are... You just living your best life, no strings attached. You might have somebody have you in your fields, but I don't think you 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 free. Tell us about this King of Pentacles. What is this about? King of Wands is in reverse, and the Eight of Wands is in reverse. Who is he? Why he in our business? Go break it up, Thunder. I like how they be breaking up fights around here. But don't nobody break a fight up like Zena. Because Zena beat everybody ass. Do you understand? Make them all go six. Then this six of wands going to go away. This is somebody who's trying to communicate with you. After seeing you living this beautiful life. This could be somebody that actually made the wrong damn choice. This could be the energy that you're in. You're in some type of... I'm, I'm doing what the fuck I want to do. I don't want to be loved. I don't want to be loved. I just want a quickie. <laughs> and you blocking off all the negative energy here. You blocking off all communication as of control, okay? But this King of Wands, baby, he seemed like a problem. I got the energy of a problem. Who is this King of Wands in reverse for Cancer Leo Cup? And it's, it also seemed like somebody who looked at you like, oh, that bitch ain't talking about shit. Blocked you out. This could be somebody that tried to block your ass out. And now they looking at you like, I should have just fucked with her. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse. From Cancer Leo Cups. Butterfly effect. I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? This is about to become obsessive. I honestly recommend you be careful because they're obsessed and they're blocked. It's, it's no communication. They probably can't find you socially. This is somebody who, who, who is obsessing over finding you because they're trying to control you because they're trying to fit. This is that same motherfucker that keep coming up trying to uh, have a power over you. They like trying. They about to try to bully you into taking them back. They're gonna sit. This this is gonna be a real aggressive energy. Okay, this is like real aggressive. So really be careful. And and some of y'all could let self doubt enter into your life. And take over and make you feel like you can't accomplish it. You can't do it. You're not worthy of it. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. You ain't talking to me. Okay. Don't let it. Don't don't let it creep in. It's a disease of the mind. It can't control you. It will control you. Don't let this sneak in and slow you down. This King of Wands ass motherfucker might sneak in and slow you down because they might want more attention from you. This is someone who's going to require a lot of attention. This is somebody who's going to step you out of character. You on, you, you on go, okay? They on some sit down, you my be. You on wait till I tell you to do it type shit. This is going to cause a lot of conflict. Because they're heavenly insecure and they're out of alignment. They're out of alignment with themselves because of what I do not know. Their obsession for you is out of alignment. Yeah, because you about to get frustrated. You're going to get frustrated. This this can't quit the 
Queen of Pentacles is on go. Like, look at her. She bathing in her dough. Her your money is starting to increase. You starting to get opportunities. The four of four of cups. You going after opportunities. You 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 keeping silent. That fool energy is you keeping silent about the moves you make. This is just stagnant stagnant energy. Self doubt. Or people, someone coming in to slow you the fuck down because they they went and did some fuck. What did this King of Wands in reverse want with my Cancer Leo? Because cause he can get the fuck on, okay? Hell wrong with this bitch coming up here in this damn reading, getting on our goddamn now. It's see, he want to hide that shit. Look at him. The high priestess is here. Oh, yes, baby. He's most definitely obsessed. He's so obsessed, he's trying to hide it. Like, why you hiding it, though, punk? Shit, put it on the floor, bitch. <laughs> I feel like the answer is already in you. The answer is already in them. You want to know why? Because they already know you seem like the one that got away, the four cups in the reverse. You seem like the missed opportunity. You seem like I could have had it all if I had just stuck it out, waited it out. In the world of instant gratification, motherfuckers ain't waiting nothing out. They ain't sticking it out. They just like, oh, oh, you said, you said, um, I get on your nerve. All right, boom. Now they got a whole nother chick. And you like, what? <laughs> It ain't, it's not a fight no more. They not, they just, they would just go to the next. They just, um, ran through. <laughs> and honestly, you probably don't even know just yet why, um, this isn't revealed. This person don't know just yet why he has this crave, his this seductiveness towards you, he, you are too peculiar to him. And I feel like, tell me why the high priestess is here for this King of Wands in reverse. Well, strength, Leo energy. This is somebody, they, they are unaware of your strength. They don't know how you are that strong. I feel like with the King of Wands in reverse and this person who they're trying to come and see what's up with you or why you so strong. They want to know why was you so strong to block them? What the fuck? What the wrong with you? This is the same person, whoever this person is. You must have blocked this person out of your life, or they told you the skedaddle, and you did just that. You went on and lived your single best life, and it was without them. And they don't understand when you living in this kind of an ego, see your willpower with somebody like this, you took their own power and manifested against them and not, not took it to send evil towards them. It's to stand strong within your energy, strong within your self-awareness. Somebody wants to know where do you get your power from? You get your power from your goddamn intuition. Okay. You want me to go, bitch? Bye. Okay, you ain't gonna give me no head. Okay, then bye. Look, the star. I mean, the sun here. You left and you're happy. And and this is someone who's so low vibrational, so insecure, so arrogant, so abusive, so impulsive, so reckless, so destructive, so demanding, a big old bully. And they're slow. They're stagnant. They're a waste of time. That's that. That's that. Hey man, energy that they don't understand. Why the fuck you ain't stuck in toxic energy with them after they rejected you? After they play the game with you? Why you not sitting up here trying to come back to them? What the fuck is your secret to make you think that you better than me? See how they develop this insanity in their head? Because this, this, I feel crazy. I feel like I done went crazy. I done got evil. Because what is happening here? Tell me more, Spirit. This is someone who, who fears your strength. Your power. How are you this fucking being? This is somebody you want to know why they're insecure? Because you're gorgeous. You fucking gorgeous. And you show this motherfucker that you wanted they ugly ass. I said what I said. Yeah, that bitch is ugly. Beauty is only skin deep, okay? You show this person that you wanted them. You, you, you devoured them in that damn water energy. You did. They was in the depths. They was swimming. Bitch, I'm drowning. <laughs> They was drowning in all of your fucking water. 
They was lit off your fire. The fire went mad. Yes, y'all made fire together for a limited a time. This seemed like it was a limited time. Just as fast as it came, it was gone. Just come on out of retrograde here. That, that crazy ass Saturn on the move now. God damn. Here we go. Day, what's that? Day three, four with me scratching my hand. Baby, all you got to do is tell them you a god. I think I can show y'all this picture. Look at how all of them looking at you. Look how they all looking at you. All, all the hoes love me. All, all the hoes love me. Look at the throne you sit on. You, you, you not scared of the beast. You cool with the beast. The fuck? The beast is your nigga. Somebody is starting to really realize your status. Spiritual status. see this cat in this window. What is that? That's not, that's another cat. Hold on, what is happening in my house? Is this in my house or outside? This nigga outside. Hold on. Y'all, princess and lost her mind. That was princess. <laughs> okay. What else you need Cancer Leo Cuss to know about this energy, spirit and ancestors? Justice. Oh. We are Lady Mamula. I don't even know what she said. Me and my sisters used to be all in the living room seeing our damn son. My mama said, would y'all get out of my way? Would y'all sit down? Y'all so know I always had the heels, so we used to come out there in those damn heels, and we used to swear we was all of them. I was pink. I just loved pink, but then I swore I could sing like uh, Christina Aguilera. But my sister was Christina Aguilera because her name was actually Christina. They always talked about my complexion. See, y'all ain't talk about colorism, but somebody all my whole life. I got dogged about my complexion. Baby, they call me white fame, white trash. <laughs> no, but the worst is one that hurted me the most when I was little because I was unaware of what an albino was. And they, they always used to say, albino, albino. That, that, that was the one that was real sensitive to me because... Um, you know, you little an albino looked as scary. No dig at albinos, but when I was little, I was I was ignorant to which what an albino was. And I got older. You can call me whatever you want, okay? I go hang with albino before I hang with you bitches. And then albinos is fucking gorgeous. And I study more on them. They are actually the sun child. They are the actual child of the sun. Then when I did more research, I found out uh, the lighter hue. Was one of the first hues in Africa. Don't nobody know that. I mean, well, I don't know if y'all on my Instagram. I put it up there. I broke it down. It's on there. It's, it's, it, it was a long time ago, though. But look up the light light hue of Africa. Uh, what's the? I got to get the proper terminology for you. It's no dig at the melanated people, but the albino can withstand the same amount as the melanated hue. The more melanated hue. Because they say the albino is the son's child. Now that, 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 that blew me back back then. So this is, so, so let me, let me understand something. So did he do something to y'all? Did my man do something to y'all? This justice energy? Did he do something to y'all? I mean the king of wine. So what is this justice for cancer the old cubs? What is this justice for? Patience. 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 So, the hermit is in reverse. I really feel like... It, it, dude, these are arcanas, too. Oh, spirit is rewarding you. Hmm. 
for having patience. I feel like you walked away from that toxic King of Wands energy and chose to do you have fun, grow, and evolve. And, and, and that could have been your test, honestly. A lot of people get tested like that. When you sit up there and let the energy in and play with and let it play with you, play it like when you go against your intuition, that's a, a spiritual test. Spirit is seeing how much you you bought that life. Have you grown? Have you evolved? Or is you just playing a game? You try and see the worst thing you could do is try to manipulate spirit. That that's some that's some real ass shit. Because everybody talk about, oh, you got karma for doing this to that person. You don't want the karma you get for trying to think that spirit about to fall for your okie, though. You don't. That ain't what you want to play with. That's not what you want. Okay? That's not what you want. Because spirit going to really, really bop you on your motherfucking head. But some of y'all, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't play. Whatever dreams you had, whatever intuitiveness came to you about this King of Wands, and they blocked you, and you blocked them, and you didn't put up the fight. Like I told y'all before, normally y'all put up the fight. I remember this King of Wands, too. He came around um, Mother's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, y'all was dealing with this person. Some of y'all probably before. But I'm talking about this seemed like somebody more recent to me. But some of y'all started messing with them last year, too, and now they back. Tell me about this temperance. Patience, healing, judge. <laughs> okay, there you go. All, all the clowns is coming back. All of them. You chose to disengage. That's why the hermit in reverse and isolate yourself and heal and grow and evolve. But they feel like they're coming back to the same person. No. You a queen of pentacles. Not saying the queen of cups ain't there. The queen of cups just ain't there for them. So, you the queen of pentacles. Now, you in your bag, bitch. You cannot be fucked with. That's it. And this is a Saturn in Aquarius. So, okay, Megan. Get them go. Get them go. Go, Meg. Go, Meg. Get them go. Get them go. This is what you want on. You and your, your Queen of Pentacles, uh, Saturn, I mean, damn, Aries energy. That's what you is, Aquarius energy. You starting your reading off with new beginnings, period. You not taking no motherfucking casualties of your past, okay? If it ain't a cat, it could go. I, I don't know what casualty of the past I'm taking. This sounds like abuse, don't it? But I know that one dog, as soon as he see his owner, he go, he go bad shit. Yeah, I feel like it's the return of the bitch niggas. Yeah, judgment. You standing on business everywhere. I, I spirit is the, your your faith is being tested. Cause as you're evolving and growing and healing and justice is being, you don't even know how much justice is being served on you. You don't know. You want to know why? Y'all done went through so much stuff. You was actually thinking that you was getting tore down. Do you know how bad y'all could have been tore down if you wasn't protected? Y'all seen all the Queen of Swords coming up there. Didn't I tell y'all about the battle in the spiritual world? It was a battle out here for your throne, for your position. Not only that, it was a battle out here for your lineage, for your DNA, baby. And you don't even realize you're here to fight the battle. Pay attention to them family members that come, come just in the nick of time. They be like right there. Like you ain't, like honestly, I'm telling you the truth. My little cousin, I haven't talked to that girl in, I don't, baby, like over a year or so. Well, my daughter prom, I hadn't talked to her. It was just like, where did she come from? Just send me a, she just sent me an inbox. And just. 
rose up and then we both linked up and we it's just been healing honestly on both sides or come to the table to the point we just sat down and said we're gonna go around to all of the family house big cousin little cousin well i'm not big cousin no more well i'm 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 the big cousin that brought that part of the family to this part of the family i say that and when something had popped off um and i left my family didn't want nothing to do with that side because they said that why are they even here if you wasn't they was only here because of you and that ain't we good on that and i'm like that that ain't fair to me that's not fair because honestly you put my kids in it because my kids love y'all and them but y'all can't get mad at me i'm always gonna protect them I don't care how ratchet they say they are. I'm always going to defend them. Because when my brother died, okay, and I was temporarily, I'm saying this because I feel like I had lost it. Anytime you get to the point that your kid check you, my 15-year-old son had to, like, really, really tell me, like, like, knock some shit out of my head. So, um... That's when I knew I, I was not, I wasn't there. I wasn't present. I phones was cut off. I wasn't paying nothing. Wasn't doing shit. I wasn't shit. But getting fat. So I was doing was getting fat and whining. But long story short, um, them cousins came. Them cousins came. Them cousins came and helped me get it together. They did. They took my kids. Made sure my kids got to school and every damn thing. Well, I was just working because I that's how I started coming up out of it. I just stayed at work all damn day. I started working two jobs. <laughs> stacking my money, stacking my money. I was just giving them money and giving them food. Giving them money and giving them food for the kids to be all right and stuff. And it, I was just out here. And so I started coming up out of it and then getting my crib. Then I was good. But other than that, baby, I was still, I was for the birds. My big cuz. He pulled, he pulled up that, now that did, cause, cause he pulled, he went into play real fast too. So when he did that, it was like having my brother a little bit and his wife, it was him and his wife stuff. So it was like having my brother and me, a new sister or a new cousin here, right? Cause we was just everywhere together. And then, um, two years later he passed and I'm like, oh my God, just, just let me fall on the floor. Just let me fall here. But yeah, for that time, that first year of my brother's death, it was uncomprehensible to me. I was not understanding the chain of events. I wasn't under, I just did not understand how. And I was so resentful towards my family because it was so much going on with them that they withheld from me. And if you know I'm the helper in the family, why would you withhold that from me the first time? It shouldn't have been with him. Mm. But anyway, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked the defense, the protection, the, the ancestors that align for you. Now, you get caught up in your toxic ass ego and you go run and play and dance with the devil, then I don't want to hear it. I, I, I already told y'all that like a year ago. I don't want to hear it because... What's the point of being guided if you still want to go do your own thing? That's living in the ego. Living in the flesh, they say. Ain't nobody got time for all that. A lot of y'all have forgiven yourself. You have self-reflected. And you're going through this the process of a, a rebirth. This is the millennium of aftermath. It ain't going to be nothing else after that. Because after this, I don't think you will fall like you ever fall. You're never going to fall like this again. Yeah, you might have a little crash out here and there. But it's not going to be a fall. This is a rebirth for the ages. Like a midlife. You know how people have midlife crisis? You coming up out of this crisis. But you coming out of this crisis, the queen of pentacles. With your crown. And you might turn around and become an employer. What was the judgment, spirit and ancestors, for Cancer Leo Cubs? Oh, shit. Tell me about this judgment. I didn't. Did y'all see the Aquarius reading? The Gemini reading? Them readings was gangster. I liked them. The magician is in reverse. 
I feel like somebody's uh Hold on, I'm gonna call the police. Bro, y'all is not gonna believe what that is. <laughs> y'all is not gonna believe what that is. I was about to call Peter. I thought somebody was beating on the dog. That's a bunch of kids in the water. I'm so done. This could be judgment. All these people is returning because they thought they could manipulate you. They thought that you was you was gone. This since spirit sending them back worse on their knees. That's what they doing. From all the spell work people tried to put on you, all of the attacks that was sent towards you is all being sent back. It's all a bunch of a cock a do to do a manipulation. But see, what I personally feel, because now we up against four arcanas, I feel like you not only moved on, I feel like y'all, a lot of y'all have met or are starting to entertain people at a higher caliber, more like on your wavelength. And that will be envied on a level you never experienced envy. So if it's time for you to move, if it's time for you to go, it's just time for you to go. Because if y'all pay attention to the stories out here, you know a lot of people love to block out media and what's actually happening out of here because they want to stay high vibrational. Ain't no such thing as high vibrational without low vibrational. Because that, that, stoop, that shit is sick to me. People actually try to convince you into just ignoring what's actually happening. Oh, I don't want to watch the news. It's too terrible. What the fuck do you mean? You got to know what's upon you. Watch world news. Anyway, this, this is just a lot of uh, judgment towards... Um, uh, tricks their energies. People who try to trick you. Man, it keeps feel like somebody tapping me or something. Like, what y'all want? What y'all want? How you doing? How you doing? I see you. I hear you. You see? I feel you. Yeah, I feel like you're being vindicated, justified, and you're getting rewarded from all these tricksters. But still, always use discernment. And I actually believe that that's what you use. That's why you were able to beat the trickster. You, 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 you <laughs> the trick got tricks. <laughs> oh, I love y'all. I love y'all be messy out here. Because even if you do choose to go back, this is for my people who went back to some toxic ass energies. As long as when you went back and you caught it and you got the fuck on, that's beating a trickster. If you still wobbling in the dirt with the motherfucker, then you can share that talk with me. Okay, tell me about this musician in reverse. I said what the fuck I said because I said what the fuck I said. Tell me about the musician in reverse. Heart attack. Hmm. Why is it a heart attack about this magician in reverse? Why is this a heart attack? I, I, didn't I just say though somebody they about to realize you with somebody you really fucking with? Well, a fortune karma. Now the cups in reverse in the karma. See, see, they tried to trick you. And you ain't fall for it. So they try to manipulate the situation and make it seem like, well, I'm going over here with this bitch and live my best life. This is like people making videos and being happy with people. People always on the internet talking about how happy they is and showing pictures of this fake relationship and shit. And in the end, that when they see you happy, now nah, nah, it's a motherfucking problem. Because how dare you? Tell me about this magic. Why is the heart attack here for this magician in reverse energy? The Knight of Cups and the Four Wands. Told you! Told you! 
They see you out here having the time of your life. Not only that, you done leveled up. Look, three of pentacles, you in some type of partnership. You got a better job. Your income rolling in like this. Trust it. Trust the damn message. This is going down. These tricksters tried to trick you. They tried to play you. And you don't want to be bothered now because you want to know why. You looking good. You feel good. This Queen of Pentacles look good and she feel good. Baby, you can't tell me. I got to show y'all her. I don't give a damn about the picture. Look, baby, that's me. Climb it. I'm playing with it. Because I never knew love can feel like a heart attack. It's killing me, swear I never cried so much. Devastated, shocking, or heartbreaking news about something or someone. Devastated. They devastated you done moved on. You done got a happy. Somebody about to find out you do not live there no more. You've abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. This is what they're about, they're about to find out you out. And you live in your bed. You got a new crib. You got a new. You something new. It's new. And you celebrating. They can't find you. I'm looking for. So, so this is somebody that calls you out the blue. But the king of wine, that's that bitch. He going to call you out the blue like, yeah, baby, yeah. Baby, would you let me come over there and see you? Or somebody going to pull up at your house one day like, the car not here. This not there. I'm not going to go. The neighbor gonna come. Oh no, she moved about a month ago. Devastated! Emotional damage. Devastated! Falling all on the floor. Falling all on the floor. And then you know them neighbors. The neighbors love to rub shit on in. Yeah, baby girl, baby girl got a new crib, got a new car. Then she moved on it. We didn't even know she was leaving. She just did. She was gone one morning, but people started pulling up, taking stuff, and then she was like, I'm out, y'all, and never came back. <laughs> Somebody going to see you out with your family. They're going to see you on social media. Somebody, and it ain't even going to be you posting it on social media. This is somebody stalking your damn family members and your friends, and they see you out here partying like a rock. Party like a rock star. They see you popping it on your new boo. Baby, they is not about to understand where all of this happiness is coming from. Mm. Girl, I love this kind of messy shit. <laughs> Tell me about this outcome. I mean, no, I want to know something. Why is this King of Wands obsessed with Cancer Leo Cubs? That's what I want to know. Really, why is the man a will of fortune moving forward? Your abundance. How did you stay strong and get your abundance? The will of fortune. How did you keep it moving? I feel like whatever moment y'all had together, it was strong. It was more powerful than this person wanted to even admit. That's why they come back with this strong ass energy because look, magical moments. I feel like anybody you touch is a magical moment. So what's the outcome here for Cancer Leo Cubs in this energy? What's this outcome? Now I'm back and my ass got bigger, death. See, a rebirth. This is a rebirth. This could be a rebirth to a, a connection. The Queen of Swords cutting people off. Eight of Swords playing victim. Eight of Cups and returning. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the death. Why is the death here? The Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. It's a death to things that did not grow in your life. It's a death to things that did not prosper. Not only that, it's going to be a death to all these other connections. You want to know why? Because now you're committed. You're going to be in some type of commitment. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is off the motherfucking shelf. And look, you got a King of Pentacles here. So the Nine of Pentacles is off the damn shelf. It's nothing to talk about. 
So this is just you ending it with things that didn't mean you no good, things that did not grow, things that did not grow. I mean, that was stagnant, things that didn't produce. It's so, homeboy, Betty. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, yep, to lovers. I told you, a death to lovers. Unacquired love. If it ain't meant to be, I'm out of here. Virgo energy here, Scorpio energy here, and Gemini energy here. Eight of Cups coming back. They're coming back because it was a death. They're trying to see if you're still stupid. They want to know if you're still about to go, go with them. But I do want to know about this lovers. Why is this lovers in reverse? The Nine of Cups is in reverse. These people didn't fulfill you in your damn life. Ace of Pentacles. New opportunities is coming in here. The Two of Pentacles, things that's more balancing, okay? You got way more options to be playing around with uh, Eon, people. Three of Swords in reverse because you recover from a lot of heartbreak. You not had no secrets from nobody. It's on the flow. Four of Pentacles, you holding back. And five of swords from people who want to reconcile with you. I think you're just done with all of the past energy in your life. The reconciliation is not about to be with nobody from the past. And if it is, that's on you. But it just seems like you're dead in the past energy. All of the death, the rebirth. You changed who you are and who you is. And that's, that's, that's the outcome of this reading. That's really the outcome of this reading. You have ended things with people. You, you have changed. You're on a different path. You see no, no growth in the past no more. It seems like people trying to hold you back or trying to want to pull you back. They want to come towards you with all this fake love. I got fake people showing fake love to me straight up to my face. That's what's happening here. You're not interested. This is just dishonesty. It's a death to the dishonesty, to the superficial ass relationship or superficial success that people have. Like, they sit up there, I miss this and I'm King Juan and Ding -a -ling. And, and then people say, why a woman can't help me out when I need to help? Go ask your mama to help you out. And you bitches, y'all need to stop sitting up here letting these men trick y'all into believing you will ride or die and you helping them is going to make it, the relationship better. No, them helping themselves. And coming back to you when they got their shit together will help the fucking relationship. But don't take on the burden of a man. He need to get himself together. Because if he's not together, he do not need to be taking a woman. Okay? So they want tradition? Let's go by tradition. You had to cash my daddy the entire hell the fuck out. If you wanted me in your life, if you wanted me for marriage. So call me a hoe. Call me a prostitute. But according to your biblical book, my family is not to miss me. So if my family is feeling neglected, things are being delayed and stagnant in my family's life because I'm up here trying to do for him and the family, he is not meant to be there. So you, you want to sit up there and live in that delusion? Well, we married. That don't mean that if, it, if you marry and the contract is breached, he's not supposed to be there. Get out of your dingy ass illusion. We have kids. And what the fuck do that mean? You know how many cats run around here with kids? Yeah, I'm comparing you to a cat because y'all compare yourself to an imbecile. Yeah, I just feel like it's a death to all of that bullshit. Um, I had a little rant. Y'all be stressing me out. Y'all be up there acting dumb as hell. Yeah, it's it's the death. You gotta put it. You gotta put to bed the trust issues too, because you're not gonna be emotionally fulfilled. Because you always gonna be suspect. Always gonna be suspect. 
And see, when you keep letting past energies in, you're, develop you're developing that. You don't even know that you're developing this kind of suspicious all the time with everybody you talk to because you were, you keep letting past energies in your life who constantly tell you that they didn't change, they're going to do right by you and they never do. So you get somebody fresh and new that really wants to love you and you don't know how to stop accusing them of something they never even did because you so used to bringing past shit in and the constantly accusing them of the past of them keep having the same reoccurring energy. It's a death it's a death to all of that life. It's a death to the past. Let it go. Move on. Detach yourself. Because your actions is not matching up to your words. You say you want a relationship, but you always accusing somebody of doing something. Like I don't got time for that either. I don't even want to talk about that. That's stupid. The fuck? People are always saying they want a relationship. Do you? Do you though? Is this what you ready for? This ain't what you want. It's not given what it's supposed to be given because you're living in a superficial ass mindset. Ace of Cups is here. Six of Cups, see? Stuck in the past. It's time to move forward from the Seven of Swords. I mean, the Six of Swords. One more card, Spirit and Texas, for Cancer Leo Cups. Permit. Stay to yourself and masturbate. Jack off. 